Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we will be reviewing the racing from today from all three tracks that I previewed. Mahama Days has just got up in the last race at Caulfield, I'm not quite sure how. So I'm just gonna hopefully get this video done quick. So race one, we're starting at Caulfield. Race one was a two year old handicap over the 1100 meters. I had Crystal Chief and it jumped better than its stable mate Island Joy who was the favorite which I didn't expect. Um, it probably pushed into the breeze a bit early. Um, my second pick, Valiquenta, ended up winning the race, but it got out and it powered home to the line, and I'm really happy with its run. Valiquenta, I had him for second, that one, and I'll enjoy it a bit disappointing. Race two, an interesting race. Three-year-old Billy's benchmark, 70 head of the 1100 meters. Samal's fractures in the gates broke out and did a whole lap and was scratched. My, my second pick was Broadway and fourth, and that ended up winning, so came from the back. I think the tempo was more suitable to it this time, and I'm glad that it won. Race three was the benchmark 78, 1200 meters. Uh, my tip was Ruben Blur, and it did end up winning, and I'm happy, 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 happy. It got out um, in the straight, pushed out, and it showed what it had. First win on a good track for Ruben Blur. I'm telling you, nearly got there. That was my second pick, but it couldn't hold off Ruben Blur. Race four. Three-year-old handicap over the 1600 meters. My best bet of the day came up in this one, right you are, and I was right. Right you are one. It's still got some improvement to come with its manners, but it won and it's exciting. Smoke Mob um, was my second pick. It blew the start and it's meant to settle up on the speed. Libre's probably looking for 2000 meters now because it was coming back on the line, so that was it. Race five was a mare's handicap. And of course, I didn't write down the distance, so I'm not sure. Um, I did have dyslexic, and that was pretty poor. Jamaican Hurry was my second pick. That fought out the finish with Great Duchess. Um, but yeah, I can't say much about dyslexic. Race six, a handicap over the 1100 meters. I thought Hawker Hurricane got a good run. Um, Innkeeper was good on the worst part of the track for Craig Williams. But Hawker Hurricane, I thought, had every chance. Tavisan, my fourth pick, ended up winning the race. Race seven was a benchmark 84 of the 1600 meters. I got first, second, and fourth in the top three. Sikorsky didn't win, all two Hoying got it. Sikorsky probably was wide without cover. That probably told the story for the first bit. Sickening didn't run too bad. But race eight, benchmark 84 of the 1400 meters. I wanted, before the race, I said, should I change to Heptagon? Heptagon is a great winning chance, comes through the Wong room, but I was like, nope, I'm staying with Victoria Star, because I have faith in it. And it actually didn't run too bad, Victoria Star. It ran third, but it was good this class. Heptagon, of course, did end up winning the race. Jumbo Ozaki, um, back on the inside, was a good run. Price range just dropped out, not sure what happened there. But the last race, as I flip over my page, Mahama Deus ended up winning race 9 which was an open handicap over the 2000 meters got the perfect run it looks gone when hangman went past it but it fought back and it was a really good win super Tars finished off well um packet ali also finished off well in that race as well four from nine at caulfield solid performance now we get on to rose hill gardens and the first race was my best bet and that it still has a bit to learn um, it came second beat in the length. I think the winner was just too good. It was a solid effort. Race two, um, I had leg work and it came over the top to win um, from the back. Tempo suited, which was good. Race three, number six, military magic. Wasn't too magic today. Finished last because it was three wide no cover, so I'd rather forget it. Race four, number 11, soldier of love was my tip and it won and it won re really well. So I was happy with that race. Five number eight, the short price favourite for Twe for Choose. Um, got beaten by Esperance, um, but I didn't think it could do much more. Race six, number five, Statue Squealy. Went to the front, which is what I was wanting, and it just didn't finish off. First up got to it. Race seven, number fourteen, Gayatri at twenty one dollars didn't do much, um, unfortunately. Race eight, number six, True Detective. It help was held up from until the 300 meters when it got out through the inside run 
and that was really good. And then race nine, number three, Superium. Um, I think first up just got to him. Um, it would have won it if it was probably third up, second up, third up. Um, but now let's get on to Morpheville. Race nine hasn't been yet, so I'll short, be sure to do that um, as soon as it finishes. Race one, number two, so you can. From two dollars ninety, the favourite Johnny Boss got scratched into a dollar four, dollar thirty. I'm pretty sure, and it won really seriously. Race two, number five, simply dreaming at five dollars, got backed into favouritism. It was so close. It was in front by like three to four lengths at the 200 meters, and it lost to a Gordon Richards horse. Um, that was paying $26. Race 3, number 1, Burt Whistle ended up getting getting up um, from a wide gate, settled three lengths behind the leader, and it proved too strong. Race 4, number 2, Fortune Fellas, just got a bit too far back with that big weight. Race 5, my best of the day, number 6, Dixon Street. Um, it won, and I was happy with it. So that's 3 so far at Morpherville. Race 6, number 2, Blowtorch. Um, didn't find much at all. Race seven, number six, Shildora. Um, it tried, but it just couldn't get there. Race eight, number twelve, Lace and Whiskey was really disappointing, and I'm not sure what happened there. But race nine, number four, Papa Let, which was my value pick, has not run yet. It's going to run very shortly, so I'll be sure to, you know, just get onto that right now. So I just watched Papa Let's race, and it looked like it was going to get there for a second, but it just faded. Um, it didn't get cover for the first 500 metres of the race, so it just only got cover just then. Um, 3 from 9 at Morpherville, which equals up to 10 for the day out of 27. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good day.